สวัสดีครับยินต้อนรับสู่การซ่อมเรือสารที่17เอ็ดเพื่อนนะครับครับเชิญครับโอเค hello and welcome to uh, week 17 of Esper Lipstick ครับครับครับ Big and small celebrations this week in PSS Boatyard. As we round off our 17th week, we wave goodbye to one resident who's been stuck here for two years. Mark of Copper Tea, and yes, that really is the name of the boat, invited half of Satoon down to make sure he was leaving. No one could quite believe it. He's been here so long, most people thought he actually owned the yard. Meanwhile, back on the boat, if you remember last week, we had a little dig at Ton, who was confounded by that frustrating curved wall. He's found a solution by cutting strips of veneer and angling it in such a way that the stripes meet. The eagle-eyed amongst you will have spotted that the grain is going vertical, but it works well with the rest of the cabin. Tui was also having some problems last week with that combing around the saloon. With the pieces of veneer being only two metres long, it was quite a job getting two pieces to match exactly, but he's finished the job nicely. If you remember, last week we showed you how the areas on the edge of the deck that won't have a tow rail had been filled in with glass fibre. This week the painting team used the usual mix of epoxy and micro balloons. When it's first applied it looks like icing sugar, but Oot and Kim have a lot of experience in this field. They have an eye for detail and are perfectionists. And this is how it looks when they've finished sanding. With the cockpit finished, our head carpenter Pong turns his attention to the two new deck boxes. He's finishing them in teak to match the cockpit. Last week we promised you a closer look at the teak floorboards, but unfortunately they're all up and still being varnished with polyurethane. Here's another sneaky peek at them though, with Tongjan working hard on that smooth finish. Yodchai is also working hard on a smooth finish, this time on the hull. A space has been cleared at the front of the boat for Moo and Lek to start cutting up the biaxial. They've marked the surface with measurements written on masking tape and recorded them on paper as a guide. Each piece of biaxial has to be cut to an exact size. A couple of weeks ago you caught a glimpse of a ladder. Here's Jung, chief stainless man at PSS, making sure it fits. Pong, meanwhile, We'll be making solid teak steps for it. Finally, we welcome a new team member on board, Sombat, who is starting to deal with the electrics. That's it for this week. We'd like to close with big thanks to Phil of Nom de Plume, that's him on the right, and Terry of Rome 2, who've been helping us out with deliveries.
The yachting community can be incredibly supportive at times, like one big happy family 